On Saturday, October 14, the Moon will pass directly between the Earth and the Sun, casting its shadow across Earth's surface. Those in the path of the shadow, mainly in the western United States, Mexico, and in Central and South America, will be able to look up and see a spectacular event, an annular, ring of fire, solar eclipse. This weekend's path notably passes through the Navajo Nation and lands of other indigenous people in the Four Corners region where these celestial events have particular cultural significance. Citizens of the Navajo Nation, the Diné people, avoid going outside, looking at the eclipse, or allowing the light of the eclipse to shine on them. Some tribal lands, including all Navajo tribal parks and the iconic Monument Valley, will be closed to visitors on Saturday to respect cultural traditions. For Diné readers, a content warning. We have included a photo of a previous annular eclipse below. The path of the October 14th annular solar eclipse. NASA unlike a total solar eclipse, where the moon blocks out the entirety of the sun, during an annular eclipse, a little light around the edges of the moon still creeps through. That's because annular eclipses occur when the moon is a bit farther away from the Earth in its orbit. That extra distance makes the moon appear to be slightly smaller than the sun, allowing a bright halo to cast around it. This is where the Ring of Fire name comes from. These eclipses look like this. Cool, right? But don't stare into it directly. More on that below. It's a somewhat rare sight. There will only be 12 more annular eclipses this decade, spread across the globe. This annular solar eclipse occurred on January 15, 2010, in Kaifeng, Henan Province of China. Visual China Group via Getty Images in the United States. The eclipse will be visible, weather permitting, from parts of Oregon, California, Idaho, Nevada, Utah, New Mexico, Texas, Colorado, and Arizona, according to NASA. The eclipse will begin in Oregon at 9.13 a.m. Pacific Time, and end in the U.S. in Texas at 12.03 p.m. Central Time, before crossing over Mexico, Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua, and beyond to Brazil. Check the map below for information about when the path of the eclipse will cover your area of the U.S. Only people located in the shaded band will see the full ring of fire. Nasser better yet, go to NASA's Eclipse website, which has a nifty interactive feature. On their page, you can click anywhere within the path of the eclipse and get precise times for when the sky show begins and ends in your exact location. For those who can't make it to the path of the eclipse, NASA will provide a live broadcast. You can watch that below.